Hi, welcome to Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. Today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome bejeweled sunglasses. I purchased these sunglasses on Amazon for about $5 and then with just a little bit of help from my friends the Swarovski crystals that I purchased at a local craft store and a little bit of E6000 glue, I turned them into something simply fabulous. They kind of remind me of like Audrey Hepburn meets Missy Elliott. I don't know why I thought of Missy Elliott, but she's pretty cool, so why not? I can't stand the rain. Do, 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 do. I can't stand the rain against my window. What is that, like a country version of that song? That makes sense. I am from Kentucky. <laughs> Once you gain the easy skills learned from this video, you'll be able to bejewel pretty much anything. You can bejewel sunglasses, your cell phone case, even maybe your wedding glasses. That's what I did for my wedding almost 17 years ago. I bejeweled our wedding glasses with a C and a T, and they were beautiful. Here are the items you need for your project. A pair of sunglasses. I purchased these cat eye sunglasses for about $5 on Amazon an old towel or a rag, some precision tip Q-tips, a wax tip pencil. I purchased this on Amazon. It came in this nifty little plastic case along with a whole bunch of crystals, some wooden toothpicks, some E6000 glue, a paper plate or somewhere to put your glue, an old plastic lid, and if you don't wanna use the crystals that come with the wax tip pencil, you can purchase any kind of crystals. I like to use Swarovski crystals. Today I'm going to be using SS20s, SS16s, and SS10. SS means stone size. You can use some jewelry tweezers. They are a little bit more difficult to use, but they would work if you don't have the wax tip pencil. The first thing I wanna do is create a nice flat surface for me to be able to apply my crystals to the sunglasses. So I folded up an old towel and I will place the sunglasses around the towel and then flatten them out onto the table. Doing this allows you to have both of your hands available for crafting. It also keeps your sunglasses nice and flat. Now that I have my sunglasses nice and flat, I'm going to dump out some of my SS20s or stone size 20, which are five millimeters in size onto the old lid. Then I'm gonna flip some of them over just so I can have easier access to them while I create. Before you glue any to your sunglasses, I always recommend kind of practicing your skills with being able to grab the crystals with the wax tip pencil and placing them on your sunglasses. Of course, they won't stay, but you can practice this technique, and then that way when it comes time to gluing, you'll be a perfectionist. See? It's easy to practice. Ooh, lovely. So now that I've practiced, I understand that I want to put about three to four SS20s going from the outer edges of the sunglasses in, and then I'm going to switch over to the SS16s and do about three of those, and then do from here to here in all of the SS12s. I'm taking my E6000 glue and placing it onto an old paper plate. I have my wax tip pencil ready, I'm going to set that aside first. I'm gonna take my wooden toothpick and dip it into the glue. Figure out exactly where I want to place the crystal. I'm gonna put it on the outer edge, put a dab of the glue, then take my wax tip pencil, pick up the crystal, and place it on top of the glue. You have a few minutes to move the crystal around until the glue dries, so at this point, just make sure you've got it in the right place. Now that I've got this crystal placed, I'm gonna come over here and place one on this side. So these look great, and I'm gonna start placing more crystals going from the outer edges inward. Be careful not to put too much glue so it doesn't ooze out from underneath your crystal. I'm 
My glue must be a little bit old because it's a little bit stringy, so that's why I'm using the Q-tips a little bit more. I like how these are looking so far. They're definitely even on both sides. And now I'm going to switch over to the SS-16s. We're gonna do the SS-16s the exact same way we did the SS-20s. Put a little bit of glue on your plate, place it onto your sunglasses, dip your wax tip into your crystal piles and place it onto your sunglasses like so. Let's continue to place crystals. I'm going to place three on this side and three on this side. Let's continue. I love how they're turning out. Now it's time to size down again and do the SS12, the stone size 12, going from here to here. You'll notice that the smaller crystals are a little bit harder to put on as they're super tiny, but if you go slowly and pay attention to your craftsmanship, they'll look wonderful. A lot of people would look at this project and say, oh, that must have taken you forever. And it really isn't taking me forever. I'd say this total project is going to take me an hour or less. And this is my first time bejeweling a pair of sunglasses. But what's difficult is just keeping your patience, just going slowly with it, not trying to rush it. That is the key to having really great craftsmanship, which results in a beautiful product. Here they are so far, I'm almost done. And now the glasses are all done and they look beautiful. Oh, I love how they turned out. Now I'm gonna let this sit for about 12 hours so they can completely cure onto the sunglasses and then I'm ready to go. And now the glasses are done and they are fantastic. Now I'm ready to go out somewhere fancy with my fancy sunglasses. Actually, since I made this video during the 2020 coronavirus quarantine, I'll probably just be going out walking my dog in this. But that's okay because you can be fancy anytime, any day. If you have any questions or comments about this project, please leave it in the comments section below the video. And I'll answer you as soon as I get a chance. The possibilities for this project are completely endless. You could do it in rainbow colors. You could do crystals all around the edges. You can make it your own. 
create something that makes you happy. I make all kinds of DIY videos, food videos, pet videos, and more, so if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, do so now. Thank you so much for watching this project. Bye! Visit carolynsbloomingcreations.com